I'm really grateful to David for inviting me to join you, even if it's by, uh, by virtuality, uh, for your celebration service today. I was looking forward to being with you at St James's uh, as you celebrate 600 years, uh, and I'm very sorry that I'm not able to be with you today. But I'm grateful I'm able to bring greetings. I hope you have a, a wonderful celebration service together. And of course, I look forward to when I can come and join you again. Now, if I had the opportunity to preach, I might well have chosen to preach on Matthew's Gospel, which is the reading for St. James's Day. And it tells a remarkable story of when uh, John and James's mother comes and she kneels at Jesus' feet and says, I, I want you to do me a favour. And Jesus says, what is that? Uh, and she says, I want you to grant that when you come into your kingdom, that my two sons will sit at your right hand and your left hand in glory. And Jesus looks at them and said to them, And will you be able to drink the cup that I am drinking? We will, they said. And he was speaking about the cup of suffering. And he said to them, You will drink the cup that I will drink. But to sit at my right hand, to sit at my left hand in glory, is not mine to grant. Uh, those places have already been prepared by my Father. And then he goes on, and the disciples come together. And... Uh, uh, what happens then next is that they are they are indignant. Uh, I think that that word is um, uh, it's a gentle word. I think they were furious when they hear what John and James's mother has asked. And so Jesus does something wonderful. Uh, he calls them and brings them together, and he says, "Now, the lords of the Gentiles, those who are uh, people who sit in high places, love to lord it over one another." Uh, and then I think he wagged his finger at them and said but not so with you. The ones who want to be first must be last. Uh, those who want to be great must be the servant of all. And then he said to them, for the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And immediately after that, we go to the triumphal entry when Jesus enters Jerusalem, not on a great war charger of power, but with humility riding on the back of a donkey. Jesus going to the cross to show that his words indeed were words that he was about to live out by going to the cross. The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. So as we celebrate today, as you rejoice in St James, as we rejoice in 600 years of wonderful mission and ministry, uh, let's take those words to heart. God calls us to serve one another. God calls us to look after each other's needs. God calls us to put others first and to seek to live in humility with him. May you have a wonderful celebration. May the Lord be with you today and may, be, may the Lord be with you in all that lies ahead. Amen.